hello guys so today we are going to learn about how we can show the image from a url in compose multi-platform to show image from a url in compose we use coil so in also like to show the image from a url in compose multi-platform we can also use coil but we need to add this coil 3 dependency uh, we need to add this coil 3 dependency and we need to migrate coil to if you are using to coil 3 and uh, to show this they like in coil 3 the multi-platform support has been added and uh, you can see it from this documentation and you need to add some dependencies and you need to use it to show the uh, URL and the image from a URL if you are trying to go from the sample it is not uh, having a clear documentation and it will give you this file not found issue so to to simplify this i have created a project and i will show you how you can use it so first of all just create a dummy project i have created this async image i have downloaded it and extracted it so as you can see this is our dummy project and uh, inside it first of all to use this coil 3 what we need to add uh, we need to add in our setting dot gradle in which inside it we need to add this compose dev experimental maven repositories and same in plugin management we need to add and we need to add in dependency resolution management as well so after adding these we need to add this our uh, this ktot and coil library uh, dependency inside our libs version dot toml that you can find in gradle and inside K, we need to add ktor and coil3 i have added so this in alpha still like it's an experimental api and also this can change in future and but sorry and uh, you need to you know like uh, keep on updating it and as soon as this gets stable you can uh, continuously use it in production so for this we need to add ktor core and darwin is for ios http and this is for browser if you're using and coil compose these are the dependencies network we need to access the network to show the image from a url and after adding these we need to add our dependency in our android main inside in our common main gradle if you can find the uh, this gradle from common main inside it we need to add the dependency this ktor okay http dependency in android main we need to add this uh, core ktor core in our common main compose rest of our compose uh, sorry coil dependency libs coil coil mp and coil network because it's going to use some network and this is for compose and also to access the network we need to as this ktor dependency in ios main after this if you sync the product uh, your project you can access this uh, async image so first of all let's get to our app inside it you need to have uh, to use this uh, what do you call coil uh, in compose multi-platform we have to we in uh, our norm, normal android project you can directly use async image and image loader uh, you can create but inside it we need to show the same image in compose multi-platform we need to show the same image from the url in ios and android so so that you can you need to add have some some additional stuff you need to create a, a singleton image loader factory you can create and also if you want to uh, do it in some common place where you are using if uh, this de dependency injection or something you can do it uh, i am for showing purpose i'm doing it in this common place and this at singleton image loader factory will provide us this uh, platform context and let me create a uh, async uh, loader or image loader i need to create and it will have the context let's create this function function with async image loader it will have the context that is a platform context right that will be required for coil and it will be an image loader and we need to create build the image loader uh, which will um, build the images oh, sorry so it will create give us this image loader for coil and it will have the context right so it will work like this you can have it and uh, then you can use it after this it will ask you to it's an to image loader no uh, we need to also have this uh, need and all the policies and create a complete 
uh, loader let me add the other things so let me add the memory cache policy uh, if you want to cache the our uh, images which we are loading that is enabled then let me add the memory cache how we want to have it so it will finally it will look like this after adding both the things it will have basically look like this i let me rename it right and so we need we have what we have added memory cache policy then we have memory cache then we added memory cache builder it will uh, size percentage it will give you strong reference enabled and that's true and then we created the disk cache uh, policy that where it will by default like uh, our caching it will where it will do so this is how it will look like and now uh, we have created this now for example if we are having this image let me try to have the async image yeah we can have the async image and directly then what you need to do is you just need to show the image let me have a modifier a uh, modifier modifier let me give it a size uh, size what we want to have uh, for example 300 or dp we want to have the size uh, and then if you want to give the padding let's have a 16 dp standard padding and after then we what we need to have let's uh let's modify it let's have a model because uh we have already created it so in here we need to pass the uh what we need uh, that image stream let's try to pass this then we inside it let's just paste and also the content description let's have it null right and we have our async image which is commented and okay uh, so also to show the image in android we need to have this internet permission permission Uh, okay we have our app let me have some other device pixel 8 pro let's run it let's see how it looks and to uh so this is the dummy and the same way we can create the like uh, if you want to have this async image and if you want to do something else you can do it and uh, so uh, this is how it will look like if you see we have uh, uh, loaded this image when we click on click me it will load the image and it will just cache the image so it will it won't load it again and again so and also let's try it in iOS app if we run it it will show the how it looks in iOS app so this is how it will look like in iOS yeah so it will also load it in ios as you can see and uh, this is how we can use um the coil 3 and how we can show the image from a url in compose multi-platform that's all it for today guys see you soon bye